Hi YouTube. Today you are going to the on mouse move event and the event dot client x and the dot client y. This will show the x and y in your mouse x and mouse y. So if you run this, if your mouse goes over the canvas, it changes every time your mouse moves over the canvas. So your x your x gets greater if you move right and your y gets greater if you move down so you can play some games with this like trying to get exactly 500 500 i did make this before you have to know which way to go when you have it yeah like that x is five and wise 500 like that you can play some games like that with, and you can show your friends some cool stuff you can even do um the on mouse move in the whole body and then you can put more line skips copy it and you need it so just copy it there pause it pause it now and copy this part and pause it now to copy the rest okay so when you're done if you wanted to copy it then you copied it and you're done if you didn't I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's open the room. Okay, so you have your basic doc type HTML and your HTML tags. And you have your head and then your body. You have that. So you have that and you save it somewhere and I'm just gonna save it as something like xy something xy and then you do your variable c there document 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 I did do this in the last video if you remember I'm gonna put it right here and then you get your canvas id xy and then 
kind of fill rectangle um like in the last video then you could have just did the rectangle that was before i knew you can do that so you put the zero x y and then you put the c dot width and the c dot height so the canvas width and the canvas height you make you save it and you make another function mm. what's wrong with this body mm. yeah watch out for mistakes like that i always make tiny mistakes like that Then you do your function show and inside the parentheses you have to type event there this is different if you want the whole body thing then you put um four here like the other one okay four see and then you put five at the bottom after the canvas so put five at the bottom. if you want to do the whole screen to whatever I'll put XY and then you do that you style however you want you have to put your filter or you don't have to put your font to do anything like that and you can put X and Y different keep those same because you have to so save that and then you do your style all is done after you're done your CSS then we can on it and you'll have your own Border. 
radius is as many as you want. I'm just gonna put two. Okay, so you save it. Oh yeah, and we've got one thing right here. The on mouse move. So every time the mouse moves, it runs whatever the function that you put in there. For this, it's going to be show, and you have to do event in here too. And then after you save it, you're done. So you can run it here. See the whole screen except for the bottom. Actually, you need six for this. So your whole screen. And so is your X and Y. Remember, you can play games with your X and Y. It moves, changes by a pixel. It's really hard when you're like so close. I recommend you do the Y first, then the X. And then just keep changing it. Have it perfect. I hope you like this video. And you subscribe and smash the like button as everyone says it. So like, subscribe, and bye.